Hi, I'm Barry Plath, father of nine children, husband of one beautiful wife here. I do uh, travel demand forecasting for a, a consulting firm that works for Florida's Turnpike. You know, when I'm not working, I'm at home with the family and Ruby. with the dog doing thousands of other things. So I was a music major at FSU. We learned a lot about music, music history, music theory, different instruments, how to play different instruments, how to teach different instruments. I told Barry when we got married, don't worry honey, the children have free music lessons. We never dreamed we'd have a band. Kim is a great list maker, delegator. Mommy keeps me in order. My mom and dad are the best parents that are living on the earth. <laughs> my favorite thing about my parents is that they put us to work. <laughs> They've always, you know, provided everything for all of us. They are goofy sometimes. <laughs> like they were chasing each other and Daddy is trying to tickle Mommy. <laughs> so I'm really thankful for the parents that I have. I'm saved. I'm saved forevermore in the arms, in the arms of Jesus. Arms. Neck, he was the firstborn, and so he was the, the toughest nut to crack. I'm saved. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's a great guy. He loves, he just loves to work on old cars. Ethan just bought his first car. It's a 1950 Chevy Fleetliner. It needs a lot of work, but he's already done a lot of work to it. Uh, it wasn't running when he got it. He's got it running now. That's good. And he's out in the barn all the time. He's taking things apart, putting things back together, replacing this part, fixing that. But I was watching him and I was thinking he would be so unhappy with a car that was brand new that didn't need him. <laughs> He's convinced in his mind there's nothing he can't build or fix. He is such a happy, joyful guy. He loves making people laugh. He also really entertains us. We'll be on stage performing somewhere and he will just pop out with some statement that's just hilarious. So Ethan's, Ethan's talents are, are piano, accordion, and his singing. He's developed a really, a really nice, deep bass voice. He's a great addition to the band. So Hosanna is quite amazing in her uh, musical abilities. She started out on piano. Everybody starts out on piano in the Platt family. And then she really got good at the violin. From the fiddle, she's picked up so many other instruments. Dobro, the banjo, she's now learning to play guitar. Hosanna has developed an amazing ear for harmony. She's always been the harmonizer for the group. She can hear harmonies, even if it's a song she's never played before, she can just jump in and harmonize with it. It used to be when we would learn a new song that Hosanna would teach everyone their harmony parts. Now, new song, they just jump right in and they can harmonize together. It's, it's really fun to watch. So Hosanna's our oldest daughter and she has always been a really, really great help to me. Hosanna's really neat. She makes her bed every morning. We were in a store the other day and someone saw her with the little girls and they said, oh, do you help your mother? And she said, yes, I do. And I just kind of laughed and we walked out of the store and I said, you do all the cooking, cleaning, laundry. I mean, well, so everybody does. When you have a large family, you have to structure things where everybody pitches in and helps. If somebody stops doing laundry, the household comes to a grinding halt. Hosanna loves to write. She has about 40 girls that she writes to. If there's something that needs to be written out by hand, she loves doing it. One of the reasons that she's able to have 40 pen pals is because she writes them all back immediately, but they take their time writing back to her. <laughs> Micah loves to garden. 
Micah has two green thumbs. Micah excels at everything green. If, if you're wondering where Micah is, because you can't find him, um, he is expanding his gardening efforts. He bought his brother's garden. <laughs> and now he's farming twice the land he used to farm. He has also a knack for making a buck. <laughs> Micah likes to make a little money. And he uh, produced a lot of garden crops and sold them all and bought his first mandolin and then his second mandolin. And so his garden is financing a lot of things in life for Micah. Most mornings, Micah gets up and before breakfast, before any of the other children are up, he goes out to his garden and he starts working. He puts the time in in his garden. He's really precise about what he does and everything about him has to be perfect. Just a closer walk with thee, granted Jesus is my plea. Mariah early on made a statement, I want to be a singer. It was funny though because Mariah would say that she wanted to be a singer, but she also wanted to be a veterinarian. She also wanted to be a policeman. I asked her why, and see this is back when we were listening to classical music a lot. And she said because they only perform Hallelujah Chorus, Handel's Messiah, in the wintertime. You have to do something else the rest of the year. She was young enough, she didn't understand that there's a lot other songs out there than just that one. She sings all the time. We hear her when she's outside singing, when she's inside singing. I even one time saw her singing in her sleep. She can be weird at some moments and encouraging others. <laughs> Mariah really, really, really wants a big tour bus. Oh yeah, it'd be a lot easier for us to have our, all our stuff in one spot than having to bring everything from one ho hotel room back into the van and back into another hotel room. <laughs> but right now our tour bus is a 15 passenger van pulling a 12 foot trailer. When I was pregnant with Lydia, someone gave me a card. I didn't find it until years later, but it just stuck with me. They specifically were praying that Lydia would bring joy to our household. After she was born, we named her Lydia Joy. I wasn't even thinking that at the time. She definitely brings joy to our household. She has a contagious smile. She is bubbly, she's cheerful, she's energetic. I can talk to her and she doesn't think I'm too weird. <laughs> the banjo is a really fitting instrument for her. I've heard it said you can't be sad listening to a banjo. She now is one of the singers. She has a really rock solid alto part that she does with the girls harmonizing and she's now starting to solo on a couple songs so we're real excited to see her progress with the band. Isaac is uh, learning to play the guitar right now. And Isaac is also singing now with the group. He loves jets and planes. All his free time is consumed with the thoughts of, of jets and planes. He could probably just sit in a library with a pile of jet and plane books and be happy. Except that Isaac would probably rather be out in a field with a pair of binoculars. He'll come out to the field with binoculars and just scour the sky looking for a jet. It's kind of fun to sit back and watch the family dynamics and to watch the money exchange or the goods exchange. For example, Isaac, he might clean the kitchen for one of the girls, and in exchange, he gets to take pictures on their camera until the batteries are low. Amber has always been real bright. As soon as she could start learning numbers, I don't remember how old she was when she started, but she just started picking up math and going with it. She even said one time, I would rather do math than eat cake. She didn't get that from me, I don't know. Now that she's earning a little bit of money, probably from helping Micah in his garden, 
she loves counting her money. So we, we joke about someday we'll make her the accountant for the band. Amber plays the fiddle, Amber sings, Amber loves playing fiddle and singing. Here's a sentence in flight, carrying a murderous crucified. In 2014, Cassie had an eye accident and she ended up having three surgeries that summer. That is an instance where family unity just kicked in. We had to have the older ones taking care of little ones. We had to have everyone pitch in and help. Cassie loves to sing. She's got a real strong voice. She's got a really good sense of pitch. I'm amazed that even as a young four-year-old, she could sing the melody and stay right on pitch and when her other sisters come in and harmonize she doesn't waver on her pitch mercy's three and she is so cute and she is so sweet and I think everyone's favorite is when she sings Jesus Loves Me. When I was pregnant with Mercy, I was getting a little bit overwhelmed with the 10th birth and just thinking about everything that could go wrong in the birth and I just was crying out to God for mercy, meaning I wanted him to help make the birth smooth and easy and done and no complications. In the middle of the night, I woke up a few nights later and I just heard Mercy Shalom. And I knew that was the Lord saying, I've heard your cry for mercy and I'm going to give you mercy in this birth, but I'm also going to give you Shalom. I'm going to give you my peace. Sure enough, her birth was quick and simple and done, but I also knew if it was a girl, that was going to be her name, Mercy Shalom. So that's our mercy. As a Christian, you know, I understand I have an enemy. The Bible calls him the prince of the power of the air, and uh, he is the one who doesn't like the family. You know, Jesus said, a house divided cannot stand. Uh, we really want to stand in unity in, in the Lord. And that's been a theme in our family, is to draw upon what God has done for us and is doing for us, and we know will continue to do for us, and that is unify us by His Spirit. Family unity is important because it gives a good picture of what God's design is for the family. God's design for the family isn't for everyone to be scattered and doing different things. God's design for the family is to be one body in unity. And that doesn't mean that we're all doing the same thing. He might be working his job and I might be carrying out what he wants done and the children, you know, doing different things so that the household functions, so that our overall goals as a family can be met. And I see the whole, the whole family is how God has designed it, a man and a woman, children. You need the members of the family to all do their job and their part to, to make the family function. And then you need all the different families to function together to make a society function. And that glorifies God because it shows His heart for His people to live in unity. The, the husband and the wife have to be on the same page. And I know you ladies will love to hear this, but the easiest way to do that is for the wife to get on the husband's page. And from there, the, the husband and wife in unity can then bring the children along. Everyone's on the same page. My family means everything to me. Um, family means like it, all being together, all of us around. That's what I like. Unity means Nobody is bickering, picking up fight, and throwing their cheesecake at you. Families need to have fun together. These days, everyone's so busy with all the different activities and working and going different directions. Nobody has time to get together and do anything fun together as a family. And I just think that's sad. And I think it's really important for families to try to get together, figure out what your goals are, what your common purpose is as a family, do something productive together, but also have fun together. It's just so fun to make music together. My favorite thing to do together as a family is music. I'm not saying everyone should do music, everyone should start a band, everyone should... Our family's different than your family, but find what it is that your family can do together. In musical harmony, you have two different notes that vibrate 
in accord with each other. So they sound good together. When the harmony's off, there's a clash there with the sound waves and the, nobody likes that. And it's the same way with, with us as a family. Each individual member, they're playing a different note. They have different interests, different things that they do or like, but with that common purpose, it all goes together. All of the, the sound waves mesh together. The music is a byproduct of the love we have for each other, the love we have for God, and the unity that we have as a family. Um, and it, it's beautiful. I, I love it. I love every one of my brothers and sisters. I love everything they do, even when they're having a bad day. <laughs> life would, well I wouldn't know it, but life would be totally different without them. <laughs>